I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is my rock, in him I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. Morning all. So I um, report to you from the, come to you from the exotic location of my uh, front yard. Just wanted to start this morning with, with those words. I love you, Lord, you are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my saviour. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me and my place of safety. It's a, a beautiful thought and that Psalm um, 18 starts that way. I want to just ask a question in that. Have you ever heard of the word gentle? When you, when you read this, it's this strong language in there. Strength, rock, fortress. Rock again, shield, power, place of safety. Just have a word, think on the word gentle though. Does it appear in there anywhere? And the word gentle is kind of seen as a weak uh, word, a mild word, a word that, you know, does it, is it something that, that men particularly want to be known for? We, we have uh, a word that's gone out of fashion to a degree, gentlemen. Now, when you say gentleman, it tends to conjure up a, a weak sort of a, a man or, or something that is um, uh, looked down on, you know, the gentry, uh, those that are the upper crust, those that were um, lorded over people. But it's from a, a construct word, two words, gentle man. A man who is gentle. And in light of things that I've read in the news over the last couple of days to do with domestic violence and so forth, we could certainly use some gentle men in this society. And maybe this this morning devotional is more to, geared towards men because we need to lift our game. We're not doing it good well enough. Not, certainly not the way that, that God would intend uh, men to care for, for others particularly vulnerable um, people on this planet. And David, the guy who wrote that psalm, starts off with strong language, strong uh, protective. And in, in, in verse 35 of that same psalm, which I've just flicked over too many pages, I keep having wireless connections, so I hope this keeps working. Verse 35 of that same psalm, you have given me a shield of victory your right hand supports me. Your gentleness has made me great. David acknowledges that he's been made great because of the gentleness of God. Now you think about David's life for a tick. And he was a, he was a man, he was a warrior. God raised him up to, to deliver Israel from the, from the around them. And anything, any part of that was less than gentle. And yet he says the Lord's gentleness made him great. Well, the Lord didn't smite him when he fell. He didn't carve him up when he made mistakes. And in fact, you think about David's gentleness. He could have killed Saul twice and he stayed his hand. When Saul died and his, his dynasty had been destroyed, he took Mephibosheth into his household to protect him, the crippled boy who everyone thought David would have put to death because he was the son of his enemy. And David showed great gentleness. gentleness. So men, don't think that gentleness is a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of your greatness because God is gentle with all of us. My hope is, and I know it's, it's like I said, I read in the news, that the rates of domestic violence towards women because of lockdown have increased beyond all of imagination in Australia and it's not good enough. And so if you're a man that is um, struggling and, and needs to lash out, then get into the Bible and lash out into it. Do what David did. Take you, your grief or your stress or whatever before, before God and, and lay it at his feet and see how he has treated you. Has he lashed out? 
Has he hit you? Has he beaten you? No. No, he's showed great love and compassion, gentleness, kindness. So today, men, I want us to do better. We're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. We need to rise up and be the warriors that God asked us to be. And warriors first have gentleness in their heart. And they have strength because God is with them. Well, I want to pray for you this morning. Father in heaven, I want to thank you for this opportunity to be here this morning. To, Lord, once again be in your word. To get that sense of from Psalm one, uh, from Psalm eighteen, Lord, that you are our rock and our strength and our refuge, and it is because you are a gentle and loving God who has so much kindness and love toward us, Lord, that we can't even plumb the depths of the understanding of that. I pray, Lord, for those who are struggling with isolation and lockdown, frustration, depression, whatever it is, Lord. I just pray that. Um, you become the focus and the strength and the purpose of life. Lord, as we go into this day, as this, this um, beautiful day unfolds before us, I just pray, Lord, that you bless our endeavours. May our focus be on you and not ourselves. And Lord, may we lift you on high and praise your holy name. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, have a great morning. I'm sorry about the cutting in and out. It just seems that um, at the moment, all the technology stuff wants to work against me, but God will always find a way. So if it didn't cut in and out on your end, praise God. If it did, praise God anyway. God bless. Have a great day.